Welcome to this Strive Team Builder tutorial. Let's quickly take a look at how you can add a newsletter opt-in into the sidebar of one of your Thrive Team Builder templates. The first thing that we're going to have to do is create a newsletter opt-in and for that we're going to use Thrive Leads. In Thrive Leads you will be able to add and manage lead groups and add forms inside those lead groups and our newsletter opt-in is going to be a form. So let's go ahead and access Thrive Leads by hovering over Thrive Dashboard and go to Thrive Leads. The first thing we're going to have to create is a lead group and I'm going to click on add new and call this newsletter. We don't currently have any opt-in forms inside the lead group so I'm going to click on add new opt-in form type and we're going to go for the widget opt-in. Alright and the next step would be to add a widget type of opt-in form and for that I will click on add here and create a new form, add the form name and click on create form. And right now you can go ahead and customize the form as you wish. For that you can click on edit design here and this will open the Thrive Editor and the first thing that you're going to see is this pop-up with a bunch of opt-in templates. So of course you can go ahead and choose the one that you like best and you can simply select it and click on choose template and now you are able to customize this template as you wish. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've just added this text and also these parts as I want this newsletter opt-in to contain a form. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and add a lead generation element right here. And I will actually remove the message field and also I'm going to access the edit form elements. So the edit design mode to modify this message so that it says sign up. And I will also remove the icon by unchecking this option and I want to center the button. We can also go ahead and change the colors of this button. And once you're happy with the design of the newsletter opt-in, you can simply save it by using this option right here. However, please keep in mind that for this form to make any sense, you will have to create a connection and you can do that either by connecting the form via API to an autoresponder of your choice or using the HTML connection. But this is just to ensure that the information that people submit using this opt-in will actually get to you. And now we can go back to our lead group to set the display options of the lead group. This is the opt-in form that we've just added. I'm going to go back to Thrive Leads using the breadcrumbs right here, so to the dashboard. And as you can see, since this is a new lead group, I have not yet set up the display settings, which I'm going to do right now. And as you can see, you are able to select when the form should be displayed. I'm going to select everything and click on save and close. I'm also going to click on this lead group and make sure that the form is displayed on both desktop and mobile devices. So we're all done in the Thrive Leads dashboard. What we have to do now is to add the lead group in which we've placed our form, so this one, into one of our widget areas. Now for that I'm going to hover over appearance in the left sidebar of the WordPress admin dashboard and go to widgets. We're going to see a few widget areas here and I'm going to use the default widget area to add our lead group that contains our newsletter opt-in and for that I will click on this plus sign to add a block and here look for drive leads or leads. And as you can see we'll have this drive leads widget here and I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, you are able to choose the lead group to be displayed in the default widget area. I'm going to select our newsletter lead group and finally click on update here. Once the widgets have been saved, we can go ahead and access our Thrive Team Builder dashboard to open up a template and add the default widget area to that template. I'm going to go to the templates section. Once you've accessed your template section, you can either edit one of your existing templates or you can create a new one if that's what you wish. I'm going to go for creating a new one since I do not have any templates that have a sidebar. So let's go ahead and quickly create a new template. And this is going to be a single type of template. We're going to choose a template for it. I'm going to go for this template as it does already have a sidebar, so it will make our job easier. And of course, clicking on create template will take you back to your templates and you can go ahead and hover over it to click on edit and thus open the Thrive Team Builder editor. 
So as you can see, we now have a sidebar right here. And what we have to do is add our default widget area in which we've added our lead group that contains the opt-in form into this sidebar. And for that, I am going to click on the plus sign and look for the widget area element, which is this one. And I will simply grab it and drag and drop it into my sidebar. And here you will have to select the widget area that contains your lead group. In our case, it's going to be this one. And as you can see, our newsletter opt-in has been added to our sidebar. Of course, make sure you save everything. And now all of the posts with this template applied to them will contain a sidebar in which users will be able to sign up to your newsletter. And these were all the steps in which you can add the newsletter opt-in in the sidebar of a Thrive Team Builder template. If you need more information about various Thrive Team Builder features or any other Thrive Suite features, make sure you check out our knowledge base and our YouTube channels. Oh.